Hello from Stuttgart. I am Lumi Hilchi with the German Convention Bureau in New York City, and we are today in Germany's sixth largest city. Our host for today is Karina Grutzner from the Stuttgart Convention Bureau. Thank you for having me and our audience today. What have you planned for us? Well, we have an exciting day ahead, but first of all, accessibility. You probably noticed how easy it is to get to Stuttgart. We are here at Stuttgart International Airport and this airport connects more than 120 destinations serving all major European hubs and direct flights to Atlanta with Delta. Our second airport is Frankfurt that's only 75 minutes and speed train away. So are you ready to discover the venue that's most unique in Germany? Oh my goodness, let's do it! Here we are at Messe Stuttgart and the International Congress Center Stuttgart. We have 10 exhibition halls and um, up to 33 rooms in the convention center itself, providing a lot of flexible meeting space for association meetings, uh, corporate meetings or exhibitions. And in the surrounding you see that we have three hotels. It's a Windham and a Mervenpick Hotel and by 2020 the second Mervenpick Hotel will open and then we have in total 800 rooms just at the doorsteps of the meeting venue in 355 steps distance towards the airport. Wow, this is almost like a little city right here at the airport. Yeah, you can actually call it a meeting campus airport Messe. What is fascinating to me is that Germany is a big country, yet every region and city has its own cuisine. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us what we're eating here today? Yeah, well, we have here the famous Ostbraten. It's really like a beef roast, very rich with onions. I love it. It's very hearty. We have Spätzle, which is a typical dish uh, from southern Germany. And you have Maultaschen soup. Maultasche uh, is named after an invention from monks in the monastery Maulbronn in the outsides of Stuttgart. And they wanted to eat during Lent time meat. That's why they just wrapped it in a pasta door and hit the meat and and cooked it and then they continued eating it so that's why it's nicknamed God's Cheater. <laughs> that is funny. That is funny. <laughs> So here we are, the Mercedes-Benz Museum. We would, that was such a great ride we had in the in the red car. That was fun. Yeah, this was, and this is amazing here. You have so many options to stage meetings, to welcome incentives, and you hear just the sound of the engine that once in a while pops up. So we have three meeting rooms, and you can really play sizes from let's say 50 to around 800, depending on the setup. You can even hire the museum exclusively. Uh, when it's closed on Mondays or after closure hours. Um, you can walk around 130 years of automotive history and you can even invite special guests that are brand ambassadors like Jutta Benz for autographs and you feel the inventive spirit because Daimler and Benz created things that changed mobility and here it comes alive and everyone can dive into it with an experience that it never forget. Cheers to a wonderful day in Stuttgart. Thank you so much for having me. I had a great day. And for all of you watching, come to Stuttgart. It's open for business. And Karina and myself are here for you. See you soon.